How do I make guac? I bought a, I bought an avocado. What do I put in it? <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's Kristen, and today I'm going to be making mozzarella sticks. I don't know what else to say for this intro, so we're just gonna start making them. I've never made mozzarella sticks at home, or I've never made them before, so this will be interesting. So I actually have string cheese that I'm gonna be using, and I'm gonna be making them with this fresh. Uh, fresh mozzarella we're gonna see which one tastes better and this is like pre-sliced mozzarella and then this is just string cheese part skin mozzarella string cheese we're gonna see which one turns out better okay so for the ingredients you need 16 ounce block whole milk mozzarella cheese two large eggs two and a third cup italian style breadcrumbs salt and then freshly ground black pepper so i got my ingredients out i got my breadcrumbs i got my cheese i got salt and pepper and my eggs in two bowls all right so i'm gonna open up this mess of cheese cut them in a half inch sticks so they're like little like you know little ovals now so I'm gonna cut them in half. I feel like this is gonna come out so much better than that than than the cheese sticks. Okay, so I cut them in the slices there like this size. Like they all like look like this. It's not really a stick, it's more like a chunk, but it's close. Now I'm gonna open up some of these cheese sticks and cut these in half. Yo, I can use this for pizza! Okay, so after you cut them, it says place eggs in a bowl. Two eggs. Okay, I'm gonna crack two eggs in a bowl. Why do I always get shells in there? All right, so I'm gonna whisk it now. This is what I'm putting in. So I'm put some pepper in there. We're gonna whisk it. All right. Then place the breadcrumbs in a second bowl. Season it with one eighth teaspoon each salt and pepper. So, how much bread breadcrumbs do we need? Two thirds of a cup. I'm gonna use the rest of this one, and then I have another one that I bought. Two thirds of. It smells good. I like this one better than this one. Look at the season. Look at the color difference. This one's so much darker. It doesn't look that much dark on camera, but I got some on the floor. Okay, that's good. Um, pour that in that bowl. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot. <coughs> it made me sleep. I feel like I'm making a mess. Now that we got, I'm gonna film some on my phone. Hold up. Now that we got the cheese, the eggs, and the breadcrumbs, we gotta put it in there. Dump, dunkaroos. Take each cheese stick and dip it into the egg, letting the excess drip off. Then. Coat the breadcrumbs, shake off the excess, and place on a plate. All right, so now I have to get a freaking big plate so I can place them all on it. This is my big plate. Wait, I'm gonna do it twice because a different recipe told me to do it twice. So I'm gonna dip it in the egg, the breadcrumbs, and then the egg and the breadcrumbs again, and then put it on the plate. So we're gonna take this fresh mozzarella, dip it in the egg, and then dip it in the breadcrumbs. Oh my god, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put the pepper and salt into the breadcrumbs, but it's all good. We don't, we don't, we're good without it. It's okay. Yo, my fingers. Do you see this? <laughs> all right, so I finished coating all of the mozzarella sticks, and now I'm going to clean the dishes and put them in the freezer not the dishes the mozzarella sticks um for two hours because that's what it says oh and also um my friend chelsea told me that it's better to put the cheese and flour first and then the egg and then flour egg and then the breadcrumbs so i did that for like the last like seven of them or maybe less but we're gonna see how those turn out but in the meantime i'm gonna make some guacamole and have some guac while the cheese sticks are in the freezer for two hours so it is a few days later now and yeah my uh mozzarella sticks have been in the freezer the whole time obviously but there's something that i did that i don't know if i said before on camera is that um, i had trouble with the breadcrumbs 
sticking to the cheese. So I ended up using some flour and I dipped it in. <sighs> I do not know how to explain this. Okay, so I used the flour. I dipped the cheese in flour, then the flour in the egg, and then back in the flour, and then back in the egg, and then the breadcrumbs, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So today I'm going to be actually eating them. Ooh. I'm going to be cooking half of them in the oven and then half in the air fryer. So we have never actually used the air fryer before, so I have to open this big box for you guys. Oh my God, they have a picture of mozzarella sticks. <gasps> right there. <laughs> Things heavy. Okay, so I just put my hair up. I put together the air fryer and I just set my oven to 400 degrees. And now I'm going to spray this with the oven, get ready to put them in the oven. And then once I put them in the oven, I'll set up the air fryer. I just took out the mozzarella sticks from the freezer and they're like all stuck together on the plate. So I put them in the, the, the microwave for like 10 seconds on defrost and i'm gonna see if they'll like you know break apart from each other we'll so i'm gonna put it in the oven put these mitts on even though i don't really need them right now but um just to be safe they're ready so these are the ones that i baked and these are the ones that i air fried Do you want to be in my video? I'm going to try them. You want to try them with me? Yeah. Okay, so this is the baked ones. This is the air fried ones. I, I, don't, I haven't tried it yet. All right, let me try the air fried. I dip it in the sauce. This is the baked ones. Yeah. Mm, good. Okay, I'm going to try the air fried ones first. Not bad. How do I make guac? I bought, a, I bought an avocado. What do I put in it? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. That are watching. The um, mozzarella fried. Air fried and baked. Air fried baked sticks are delicious. So I'm not sure, but I think this one is one of them with the flour on it. Either this one or this one, because I know I put flour on some of them. These are actually really good. They're not as gooey as I would like, but they're good. <laughs> If you guys want to make mozzarella sticks, I suggest doing it. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And leave a comment if you like cooking videos. And let me know if you're going to try to make these mozzarella sticks. Because they were pretty fun. Even though it took like a while. It literally took me like maybe like an hour to like bread them all. But like it was still fun. It was worth it, you know. See you guys in my next video. Bye.